Hello YouTube, welcome back to another YouTube video here with me Matt and we're back on the workbench again I'm in my 10th week of lockdown, hooray um, will it ever end um, but uh, I decided to do another workbench video and if you've previously seen on my channel I've done a review of uh, the rails of Sheffield Terrier made by Dapol which probably didn't go down too well um, but uh, it's the honest truth as I always give an honest opinion as I'm not paid by anybody or uh, friends of anybody so I purchased this model for a reason I've sold off all my old Dapol toolings of terriers from years gone by uh, Stepney and Fenchurch and obviously this one is in the Fenchurch condition sort of so if you renumber and rename this model it will be similar to the O gauge version which is not as preserved it is in its A1 condition and there's various ways of telling that from just visuals but if you're not too fussed on it then you can just slap a different name and a number on it which is absolutely fine um, each to his own however mine's going to go a bit further and if you remember months and months ago I did uh, Stepney from A1 to A1X condition which all the preserved terriers I think are A1X which means they've got a slightly different boiler and what I mean by that is the dome is further forward by three millimeters so the safety valves sort of line up with the uh, water filler caps uh, so push forward about three mil leaving a bigger space between the dome and the cab for extra pipe work to work its way around so that's the main difference apart from the brake blocks as well hopefully I'll be able to get some of those at some point um, or make my own um, but uh, overall this is a good base to start from and if you're not too fussy with all the dome moving and all that kind of thing then you can just add a name or a different number or whatever so I've been off to uh, the transfer people that I know uh, which is called Precision Labels, uh, John um, he's done a excellent job here by producing uh, some Fenchurch numbers, plaques and buffer beam numbers as well so two of each um, so these have been printed in metallic gold which you can probably just about pick out on the camera I've made some slightly, uh, I requested slightly bigger ones just in case to cover uh, the plaque on the side of the cab um, these aren't all for me these are for other people uh, which want to do the uh, transfer themselves or get me to do it as per normal um, so I purchased about four sets so I've, I'm using one set which is not in here at the moment so I've got three sets left uh, which are pretty much all taken um, so I've already done some exploratory surgery on this uh, model already and uh, the easiest ones to get off are the buff beam numbers now you can see on the front here uh, 643 which is the number of the X Gypsy Hill one um, so that is quite easy to get off using the traditional uh, enamel thinners cotton bud I've even used a, uh, a glass fiber pen as well just to get the remnants of the black uh, shading off which seems to be the more tougher one to get rid of um, so on the rear as you can see it already has a new identity um, so there's other transfers already put in place you can see nice glinting away there I might replace the, the number sign as well just to uh, so it all matches up so that's already been done and also I've changed this this side already so you've got the, the name, the number a bit of dust on there um, so this has all been varnished in now I, I had a terrible time getting the LBSCR off the tanks. Uh, the brown on the tank seemed to be very very thin um, so I had to do some emergency repair work on that before I showed you all um, but um, what I found basically was the shading, the black of the letters was so difficult to get off 
Um, I don't know how they've done it on this, but it, the more you rub, the more <laughs> the more the brown came off rather than the black. Um, using the traditional method, I thought I'd try something else. That didn't work. So it is a bit of a pig to get off, um, which is unfortunate. So it's going to be a horrible job to do if you want to do it yourself. Um, but I've managed it just just about. Um, I sort of covered it up with some um, marsh brown paint which I've managed to get from Phoenix or when B&Q opens their paint sampling again um, you can probably go there and uh, get it mixed for you at a reasonable cost of £2.50 a massive pot so you'll have plenty left over if you're gonna do what I'm doing um, so that's one side already done pretty much um, but I need to do the other modifications like the dome for example put some coal in it and hide that horrible slot gap at the back but also what I was going to do as well as Rouse the would like to put bling on these terriers like nice shiny uh, copper cap I've also gone out and purchased some copper rod and I've made some new condensing pipes out of proper copper which look quite nice so I'll see if I can fit those at some point um, what I will do is do a write up on uh, how I go about this um, but this is just sort of a, a one stage so far so you can see uh, how to go about it but the warnings I'll put out there if you are changing this identity on this terror the brown paint is extremely thin especially on the tanks uh, buffer beams are okay a um, bit of thinners on a cotton bud let it sink in then try to rub away the gold will come off first the black will come off last um, if it's being stubborn try a um, fiberglass pen which will just ease it off don't try the fiberglass pen on the sides it will take pretty much everything off <laughs> including the paint um, which I was very surprised at um, so the paint finish on these is not fantastic uh, not very thick not very good quality the printing is okay, especially on the shading, um, and the gold will come off straight away, it's, it's so easy to get off. Um, so that's this week's project, I suppose you'd call it, so that will keep me busy for for this week at least before I go on to something else. Um, so I'll keep posting some updates every now and again and showing you bits and pieces, and uh, I'll keep you updated as we go along. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for the feedback on the coupling converters and uh, all the views on the Rouser Sheffield Terrier as well. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one.